Hey guys, going to show you a quick tutorial using the dot method with my Saint makeup. First, I'm going to go in with my contour color, which is olive. I'm just going to dot it along my forehead. I'll go right up under my cheekbones and also right along the sides of my nose and just a little bit on my under my lip for just a little extra pout. And then right along my jawline to help that with definition. Contour is going to create shadows and, and define and sculpt where you need it. Everybody's face is different, so you do what works for you. Now I'm going in with a color mango just for a little color correcting on some spots that I don't really want to see. So just touching them barely with my finger and they just disappear. Now I'm going to go in with my main highlight, which is Sandy. And I'm just gonna dot pretty much everywhere that I did not put my contour color. And I'm hardly using any product at all. It doesn't take a lot, but I just go through and just dot it around. And it's warming up and just sitting on my face. And then in a minute when I blend it all, it'll come together. Now I'm gonna go in with Sunlit. That's gonna be my brightening highlight. I'm gonna put that right up in the corner of my eyes, my chin, on my cupid's bow and down the center of my nose. And now I'm gonna go in with, oh, go ahead and add a blush. There's Ruby. I love it, I've been using that a lot lately. That's my husband leaving. And there we go, look at that. Move over, Barnum and Bailey. Looks a little crazy, but it all blends out. I'm using the blush bronzer brush. I'm using the smaller end of it. I'm just gonna go through, and I typically try to use, um, and blend out the lighter colors first. And then I'll try to go in with my contour on my cheeks, but sometimes I do it. However, there's really no way to, uh, wrong way to do it. There's multiple ways you can put it on and they always look good. I try to always blend my contour, uh, contour upwards and just kind of blend it into my cheek color. And with it being creams, they're so forgiving. So you don't have to worry if you mess something up, you just go back over it with another cream and blend it right back out. Now I'm gonna go in with my Bella bronzer and I'm using the fluffy side of the, um, the same brush, and I'm just gonna swirl that on. It's a very sheer coverage, but it gives you the warmth that you need, like you've been at the beach. So it's really pretty. And you can wear that with nothing else if you didn't want to. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit more ruby on my cheeks because I thought I needed some more. And then just blend it out. That's the milk conditioner for your lips. It's really good. I always put that under my um, lip and cheek colors. So that's the same color I use on my cheeks. It's dual purpose. And I've really been liking this ruby. And I'll go over it and I'll mute it down just a smidgen with the color royal. And so now I'm going um, to do some eyeshadows. There's my eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in with a color basic. It's my transition. Normally I put an eyeshadow primer on, but I didn't this time, but that's okay. It worked out good. So I'm just going with that fluffy end and I'm just swirling, doing windshield wiper motions, putting that on the lid. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Sabrina. It's a really light shimmer and I just put that along my brow bone on the inner corner of my eyes where it's the darkest and I wanna bring some more light too. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Finn, just in the outer corner. And as you can tell, I'm not being really precise. I'm just kind of throwing it on there and it'll all blend out, so I'm not worried about it. If I don't like something, I can just go over with another color or a, use a lighter color. So there is exactly what I did. I used Pup and I kind of went over it just to make it a little bit um, not as harsh. And there is an illuminator that I love. It's Photoshop, but I like it on my eyelids. So I'm using that on my inner, um, the inner half of my eyelid. Now I'm gonna go in with that same color fan with the opposite end of that brush and just putting it on my lower lash line just to bring the look together. And now I'm gonna use an eyeliner. I'm gonna just line my waterline. This is a really pretty emerald green color. I like that. I like a little pop of color sometimes. So I put just a little bit on my on my eye for eyeliner and then I also use it on my waterline as well. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend it, blend it out with that same brush. 
And now I'm going to use my 3D Effect Mascara. The eyeliner I used and the mascara is both made by Pharmacy. And I have absolutely sensitive eyes and no issues whatsoever when I use either of these products. They're high quality ingredients too. And there's the Vanilla Dust Powder. I'm just going to go in and powder in my T-zone where I typically get a little oily. I don't mind a little bit of glow, but I just don't want to be um, oil filled here. And then I go with my Perfector Sponge, touch up everything just to pick up any excess product and to blend it all together. And that's pretty much it. I'm good to go. Oh, I for can't forget the Illuminator. That's the Angel. I'm going to put that on the Cupid's Bow, bridge of my nose, and right along my cheekbones. And it's really good for mature skin. It doesn't set in your lines cream based as well and that's pretty much my finished look then I'm going to show you what I look like outside in the car in natural light not doing anything and how well it all blends together